What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy. Okay, I got a new Lego order, kind of a haul. It's a package that I ordered back in May, I think, of last year. Finally came in. Yes, it's a BrickLink designer program set. It's back there, right there, on the table. I got another package in on the same day, actually. It's a parts order that I got, I ordered on Black Friday. It got canceled, back ordered, then lost, forgotten about, and then they finally shipped it here in March. So let's see what's in those packages, and who knows, maybe you guys will have interest in it. All right, well, like I said, I ordered this parts order on Black Friday. It was one of those things where you had to order so much to get to certain thresholds to get the gifts with purchase sets. I did that. And I think this is like 43-ish dollars um, in parts. I know the biggest thing, I honestly, I've forgotten what half of the stuff's in here. Looking at it, I think I got six of these mountain pieces. And it's good because I need those for a future build that's coming up really, really soon. One by five uh, plates in white, one by five in black. It's like some yellow tiles. I honestly don't even remember what those are for. Those, the 1x4 bricks, those are called Palisade bricks. I, I mean, being a kid in the 90s, I remember when they very first came out in Fort Legorado. Might make, I'm thinking about doing a log cabin build and changing out my farm. So I just started buying a few of them ball and coupler or just the ball joints that's for more farming stuff looks like some grills and you can't see anything on that side so uh, yeah i think it's around 43 dollars and stuff but i think 23 of it is just in these mountain pieces so let's get to the good stuff i knew that was there so i figured i'd just add that in you can see my last lego haul oh yeah Got him built, a pirate set from the uh, the Lego house, the pirate minifigure, and also got the bird to pair with him, the parrot, which I am going to modify. I need to change him over to red. All right, so stop wasting time. Let's get this huge box opened up. It's one of the things I always shut the scissors. I can't stand when people do unboxing and they open a knife and then just throw the knife down or a box cutter and they just leave it open right there. It oh, it bothers me to no end. I guess being a scout leader, teaching safety of knives and <laughs> sharp object safety, it's just one of those things that triggers me. All right, here it is. Okay, this is the back of the box, because I know what you're thinking, like, what the crap is that? Well, <laughs> at least the box isn't damaged, so that's a huge plus. There's what we got. The one thing that I do not like, the pink frogs make a return. Oh, why, why more pink frogs? Anyway, this set... 3,876 pieces. It's a huge piece count, so you know there's a ton of one-by-one one tiles and slopes. So it's going to be a very tedious, slow build for what it is. But it's going to be very cool. Now, unlike other people, I'm going to open this and build it. I have the exact place for it on my mountaintop. I've got to modify my mountaintop um, over my train tunnel specifically for this. I didn't know how big the base plate foot was or the, the footprint of it is and basically until I start building it. So that's one thing that I do need to, to check because I'm going to have to do some major mountain modifications, which is really helpful because that's what I bought these for. And it's funny, they came on the same day when I bought that that in May and this in November, and they both come in March. Anyway, this is really, really cool. The pink frogs, looks like there's even, I don't know if there's two different colors of pink frogs or if that's just the color from the camera. But anyway, that's what we got. Now that you've seen the front, 
you can see the back, how it's built. So it looks like our telescopes here. We've got all these. I'm going to actually try to get this closer to where you guys can see it. Our telescope and then our cover for the telescope and then our different floors. It's like we have some rec room, observation deck, and then our mountain area. Yeah, all those frogs look actually the same color. So anyway, this is very cool. I see there's a water feature there. It's a little bit of water running through. So I may, I might modify that a little bit on the mountain. Ooh, we do get some gold frogs. I just saw that. So anybody that's a massive gold frog or a frog collector of different colors, <laughs> I guess, I don't know of any other ones that have gold, any sets. I might have to look that up on BrickLink. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know of any other sets with gold frogs. I don't know if that's new or not. I can see some Ninjago sets having something like that as decoration. Okay, I'm going to take this off the camera off the tripod. I'm going to show you what my intention is and where I plan on putting this in my city. It's going to go right here. We have this little platform, which basically has to be quadrupled in size. So I think I'm going to take a little, shave a little bit of this mountain off. I might take this one piece and maybe shear that off. Now the, the set itself is built one, basically one of these up. So I'm still going to be about this level if I start at that plane. So I can do a little bit of manipulation there. I'm going to have to come back just a couple studs. I left this basically like looking like crap, just blocky because nobody ever sees the back. So I may have to come back up there and just come up. That's okay. The tunnel might have to come out a little bit. I'm thinking it's probably going to have to come out to here. So I might get creative on that tunnel. I've never really made an arched tunnel on a curve. That might be a fun challenge. The other part here, yeah, we've got the the Vestas, you can see there, assuming it's going to be a full base plate, I'm going to end up going right to the edge of that green. So all my hard work on trying to do all that is probably just going to get redone. There's going to be a gap between the barn and the mountain. I am going to keep it like that, but I might over go over one. And you can see the the brown wood under the table or under the base plates that's one stud all the way down and if you look down far enough i can zoom in yeah you can see i put some slopes there that's just the way the spacing worked out i don't really know why but then up here on this one it didn't work out so <laughs> lego stud math um yeah i don't understand it if you guys have watched wrestling and remember in the 90s, the Steiner math thing, that's what comes to mind, only on a whole different level. So if you get that reference, you get it. If not, that's okay. If you want to watch a stupid, funny video that you're not going to understand the math, look up Steiner math, and you will be amazed, and it'll blow your mind. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's it for today. We got our set over there. I'm going to have to do some rock work, I imagine. That's going to probably take me, I'd say, a good two hours plus to get this mountain the way I want it. But yeah, that's where it's going to be. So when you look at it from this angle, just picture that white tree as being where my observatory is. I'm going to end up moving the wind, the wind turbine because it's going to be a problem and be in the way. It's kind of just been in the way ever since I bought it. I got a deal on it. Now I don't know what to do with it. So it's just really hard to display. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you liked it. Do you guys have that set? Did you order it? It was supposed to be like well over $300. They messed it up when people were ordering, and I got it for $250. So $250 for a 3,800 part set, even though it's <laughs> mostly one by ones. Still, Lego messed up. They honored their, their screw up. 250 bucks. I think it was 260 after tax. 
for me. 4% tax rate, yeah, that's about right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I guess uh, stay tuned. Watch me try to get this built and placed here. I think I'm going to have fun and frustration all at once getting this built. Ha, ha, ha.